Do you believe that religions are not important when it comes to having a relationship with God? <laughs> um, I believe that religions are very important, but not necessarily about having a relationship with God. My belief about having a relationship with God is that it is personal and therefore it is between me and God. I don't need a religion or a religious faith to have a relationship with God. What I need to have is a desire for God and a desire to actually connect with God and have divine truth and divine love into my heart and to be humble in that connection. That's what I believe a relationship with God is all about. But religions are very important because they can severely damage my relationship with God or help my relationship with God, depending on what they teach. So if they teach things that are in harmony with love and truth, then they can greatly assist my relationship with God. I can go along and listen to more truth that is in harmony with God's love and truth. I can contemplate and feel about things. They can help me develop my character, my nature, my ethical nature. They can help me develop in lots of different ways if they're in harmony with God and with God's truths. If they are out of harmony with God or out of harmony with God's truths, they can do tremendous damage to me and to masses of other people who engage in the religious form. And when you look at the damage that's been done by religions on this planet, it is huge, huge amounts of damage have been done. You know, we were consigned for nearly 2,000 years into the Dark Ages because of religion, primarily because of religion trying to hold people to a specific way of thinking and a specific way of acting that was out of harmony with love and truth, out of harmony with growth. And so it is very important for me to understand that religion in itself has a great power for good. It also has a great power for evil. And unfortunately, historically, it's been the source of a lot of evil because the practitioners of the religion weren't engaged in this process of growth in love or growth in truth. Now, I also feel that religion has the capacity for a great deal of good with humanity. A great deal of support can be brought through groups of people working together in harmony with love and truth to help other groups of people or other individuals. Religion has this ability to do that and is already demonstrating Many of these religions on the planet are already demonstrating this ability, giving to poor, giving to people who are needy, giving time, effort, materials, food, clothes, shelter, all sorts of things to help people. Now, this is a wonderful uh, effect of religion practice in a proper way. In fact, my suggestion is people need to stop going along to their Sunday service and spend all their time in the Sunday service doing their support outreach of their religious faith and because it would benefit them and the other people involved far more in many cases than going along and listening to a heap of false doctrines will. It's important for people to understand that we need to come to, under, to worship God the way God defines. And God doesn't even want us to worship God. God wants us to have a relationship with God and God will define how that relationship works. We need to understand that every time we attempt to define how the relationship should be, we are probably already out of harmony with what God is defining the relationship as the relationship should be. We need to understand that it is God's right to determine how God wishes to interact with us. It is not our right to determine how God should interact with us. And most religions on the planet are trying to define how God should interact with man. And unfortunately, many times they are very severely wrong and out of harmony with love, and particularly when it comes to their concept that God is a punishing God who will destroy wicked and, and only help the righteous and so forth. These are all incorrect concepts out of harmony with love and out of harmony with God. We need to understand that, that if we're truly going to have a relationship with God, we don't need religion, but religion can be of great benefit to our relationship if it is practiced in harmony with love and truth. So you, you're say, are you saying that we don't need religion to have a relationship with God? Definitely. We do not need religion in order to have a relationship with God, but religion can be a great assistance in our relationship with God as long as the religion is in harmony with love and truth. If the religion is out of harmony with love and truth, it can be a great detriment to our relationship with God. And many religious faiths have been a detriment to their adherence 
and their relationship with God as a result of all sorts of reasons, mostly to do with the violence and other acts that they have a tendency to justify and perpetrate towards other people who don't have the same faith. So religion has, like I said, been a great cause for good, but also been a great cause for violence in, in history. And what we need to do is change that. We need to change it so religion is only a force for good in, in, in our future, rather than a force for both evil and good, as it has been in the past. If we look at why religion has been created, it's primarily because people, mankind, and usually it's man uh, in recent times, but also sometimes now women in recent times, you know, with the New Age movement, there's a lot of women doing the same thing. Just people needing power over others, needing to control others. And so what they do is they come up with a man-made concept uh, of what God should be, and then they try to enforce this man-made concept. And even the idea that that is possible is a man-made concept. Like it, it, logically, if God does exist, it would make sense that God does not need to be worshipped in the way that man describes. And also, it, logically, if God exists, it, it would make sense that God would have the right to determine how the relationship develops, not mankind or womankind on earth. Every single time mankind or womankind on earth define a religious movement, generally it's because they wish to control or manipulate the behaviour of others include or and also have their own con behaviour controlled or manipulated by a set of rules. God doesn't work this way. God desires there only being one rule to guide our behaviour, and that's the rule of love. And uh, every time we make some other definitions, we are proving to ourselves that we are yet to understand God, that we're yet to understand that God has a totally different concept to us as regards worship of God, if there is such a term. Relationship with God is about entering an, a relationship based on both people being and engaging the relationship in the manner they want to. God has a whole series of feelings of what that she wants to have with us. If we're willing to engage those feelings, we can finish up having a relationship with God. If we don't engage those feelings, we will never finish up having a relationship with God, no matter how many man-made things we believe, no matter how many man-made concepts have been constructed, thinking that we know about God when we don't really know. So we need to give up this concept that we can define God and we can define God's our relationship with God. We need to start accepting God's definition of herself. And the only way we can do that is through accepting the truth about God from God. So logically, if God exists, God has the ability to have a personal relationship with anyone and all of her children without there being some kind of mediator or controller of that relationship. So logically, we need to see that there is no need for us to have any religious faith in order to have a relationship with God. A religious faith can, ex can help our relationship with God, particularly if the religious faith, and only if the religious faith, teaches truths about God. Of course, if the t religious faith teaches us that God is punishing and wrathful and all these other things, then it's actually degrading our relationship with God, and therefore we are not going to have a very good relationship with God if we follow that religious faith. So these are the things we need to consider when we're following a religion.